think this is the best solution because uh, there is no hard line uh, ideal Europe for anybody and we should continue to build on what on the experience we've had before on what has worked before but also make adjustments to adapt to today's reality a Europe of 27 <laughs> Uh, what President Juncker was referring to in terms of double standards uh, was exclusively or particularly uh, meant for foodstuffs, double standards in foodstuffs. In Eastern Europe, apparently foodstuffs that are available Europe-wide cost normally less, but the quality is also inferior. I don't think that that is a problem in Malta. In Malta, we tend to receive foodstuffs from the same market as Italy or the UK or other uh, Western countries. He also made it clear, however, that there is a Europe, an equal Europe for all. Everybody is equal, north to south, east to west. And the European Commission will therefore take measures to ensure that all citizens, wherever they live in Europe, benefit from the same quality of life. I am not about to start criticizing my boss for what he said or didn't say. I think it was a very ambitious and positive speech and uh, it certainly left a feel-good factor amongst those who followed it. Therefore, um, whatever message he wanted to pass, it was certainly positive and well received in that sense. Now, in terms of substance, of course, there's always subjective opinions. For example, in Malta, people uh, would have perhaps liked to know a bit more about Brexit, what the situation is about Brexit. I understand this position because Malta is particularly concerned. Mm -hmm.